again, I don't know how to start this. Well, um, welcome back. Yay. Um, first and foremost, the only reason I don't have the face cam set up in this one is because I'm a lazy fuck and it's like 10, 15. I don't want to set up my tripod. I'm laying in bed in my room and has a girlfriend over. It doesn't matter. But for those who want to see me, um, yeah. Okay, so let's let's get right into this. The most common beginning line. Ready? I'm going to try and keep it short. I actually made a list of stuff to talk about this time. Okay, so... Right. In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down GameStop's waves, obviously. I'm going to be going over um, specifically the subdivision that resulted in this whole pattern here. I'm going to be diving into that. Give you basic up and down targets moving forward. And then I kind of came up with this really cool thesis that I like put in Discord today that I'm going to touch on really briefly just so you can kind of see where my head's at for the longer term. But yeah, let's get into this. So um, in the last video I put out, I was talking about let me kind of pull up like a clean shirt. Um, not quite. Fine. Good enough. So, we had this level and this level that needed to be broken to basically confirm our assumption that I think... What day was this? 7, 8, 11. Okay, this was the day, right? This day right here. We were looking to see... Um, you know, break above this, these two price levels, the 155 and 158. We got the 155, we didn't get the 158. And so this didn't really mean anything in the moment, but, and, you know, back then, why I was saying we needed to clear these to rule out something like this. And because we didn't clear both of them, you know, well, there you go. But I believe, there is, do I have the count on here? I might have, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Okay, so the way that um, I was counting this, you know what, no, I do need to go back to this. Just because it's there. I moved the ratios around a little bit, but the way I was looking at it, or not the ratios, the the labeling around a little bit. The, what, the way it was pulled up last time was you had these two levels here, right? Um, the 0.618 and the 0.786 at 143.25 and 134.95 respectively. And I was saying that there is a high likelihood that this 618 low at 143 did indeed mark the low but we couldn't rule out coming down to 135 beforehand until we cleared 155 and 158 we got 155 we didn't get 158 so we came down to the 135 area not a big deal but um actually i forget which forecast this was it might have been like two or three weeks ago it was like as soon as we got this move here and i put out a few possibilities then i was talking about an expanding count wherein um it's fuck it's so confusing i'm sorry i can't even like make it make sense but basically what i was saying was this move up to here marked a larger wave one and we could be expecting some sort of expanding flat wave two meaning one two you know three four five but really quickly um expanding flat what that means is i think i you've probably seen me post this fucking picture before there we go okay yeah, yeah, yeah. so you've seen me post this before right um but really quickly you know there's the structure to look for right a down b is bigger than the length of a meaning that it makes a a higher high to the original top of the impulse and then your c will actually come below the a expanding meaning a b c b is longer than a c is longer than b Pretty simple concept to grasp, hopefully. But anyways, you can see where the, idea, where the idea comes from, right? You have your three up to here, or however you want to count it, right? A down, B up, but expanding because if this is B and this is the top of three, this came above. So this has to make you think one of two things, either running flat or expanding flat. Now, if it were a running flat, we would have bounced at 163.08. And that was ruled out pretty much, you know, the first, like right away, day one, it was ruled out. Um, so if it wasn't a running flat, then it had to be an expanding flat, which would give us a 1 6 1 8 ratio where C equals A instead of 1 to 1. And that level comes out to 137.8. And I touched on, I, again, I, not to be like, oh, I called it, but I'm just saying this, I did put this out, I, I put the level out here at some point. Like, so I, like, I didn't just pull it out of my ass. Like, it's been something to look for. And lo and behold, right, yesterday, boom, this is exactly what you want to see at these levels to in indicate you know a change in trend because what you're looking for is look how the can look at the candles right not a single one closed below this level meaning buyers were coming in and they were buying the hell out of this level 
or the algos, you know, however you want to look at it, it doesn't matter. Point is, buy pressure came in where it was supposed to, where you'd expect to see a change in trend, at like one of the last possible bounce candidates. And we got it, we, we got it, and it looks really, really good. And then obviously you get the Ryan Cohen sex tweet, I'm not gonna, you know, I there are theories that like the, <laughs> I can't even believe I'm saying this, when he tweets penises it goes up and when he tweets like poop it goes down. I, you know, okay, sure. Um. But the thing is, I don't buy into hype days anymore. The last time I did that was my 20k YOLO, and we all know how that went. And I'm still, like, you know, digging my way out of that mess. But this is where I get out of it. Um, <laughs> point behind that little rant being, like, I... If you're actually trading this, trade what you see in front of you. Don't base your decisions based off, like, a tweet from anyone, for that matter. But, but anyways, going back to the subdivision, I think I, I marked on trading view? Yeah, okay. There we go. This can be kind of a mess, but you, you can kind of see it. And now the reason I don't love trading view is because it doesn't show this after hours move, right? This was the actual high and it doesn't show it there, but whatever, we know what happened. But you can see, right? ABC into A, ABC into B, one, two, three, four, five. And you'll also notice that um, the rules check out, right? If this is the, um, can I just start like a horizontal? Yeah. If this is the wave one low and we're looking for five down, then we should not, then the wave four should not come into this territory. It should not touch this. It should have, you know, not touch that and make a leg down more. And obviously, you know, it checked out. And so anyways, remove that. You can, yeah, you can see the subdivision here. Um, one, two, three, expanding flat four again, right? Same idea here where A, B comes lower than A, C comes higher than B, and you'll see this in your wave fours most of the time anyways, which, again, right, this is also a larger wave four, so, right, it's like, the subdivision there is like, A to B to C there, in tier four, but, yeah, okay, I'll just keep it there, whatever. This whole, this idea is, you know, still intact. Very, very much alive. Touch on this again, I think it was this chart. Yeah, cut and dry, this is, you know, that's it. That's literally it, that's all you really need to see and you kind of get the idea of what the analysis is based off of. But then going back to what I expect, you know, moving into it, if it does replicate what happened then, it should move like this. So tomorrow should be pretty red. And what I'm looking for to confirm this is, move to like this area down here between 143 and 139.5. I think it'll be like 140 on the dot just cause of, you know, the demand works so you can visualize it right demand works right here this whole little area so somewhere probably like right around here 100, 140 let's just say 140 on the dot this is what i'm looking for as a low tomorrow before having the next leg up and then today um this was pretty cool too you know structure was indicating that we were gonna have a move up and i obviously you know put my money where my mouth is and i got discord on it too and we rode this all the way to the top right here 153 and so this box you'll see right here represented like this like you know the get the fuck out don't hold it overnight level and boom perfect 153 like on the dot so into tomorrow you know it is possible it rips up to 155 and, and then dumps but it you know i don't have a crystal ball I, I think it just comes down i think it you know i think we just sell the whole day come down to here and then start to trend up for the next leg of the diagonal right where we do this and this and this and everything you see here. But it doesn't necessarily have to play out like that. But, that, but you know, this is so early on in the trend that that's just what I'm looking for. And then I'll pull up on-demand data so you can kind of see how it played out last time. And I have, you know, I'm going to get everything. I'm literally going to trade all of this. But you can see how there was predictive power back then if you knew what to look for. And, you know, obviously I know what to look for now. And so this is what I'm expecting to happen tomorrow. You know, this move down to here. Before, you know, this continues up where you have one, two, one, two, three, four, five into three, four, five into one, ABC two, three, four, five, and then boom. Right? Easy enough. Okay, sweet. I got that out of the way. Now, really, really quickly. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then in the last video, really quickly, um, the upside target, I think I gave then was 217, but because the low came from 141 down to about 137, that's about a $4 difference. So 217 minus four comes out to 213, right? That's our target now, 213.81. And I tweeted that out today too. That's where that number comes from. But trajectory wise, I expect this. Boom, and then death, and then boom. 
Um, and here's where it gets fun. I kind of went manic, and I mean, I do this a lot. This is like my life, but I actually, I because I, I trade the broad market too, and I'm gonna be totally honest with you. It's been hard. Like I have not been super correct, but I'm not gonna say I am if I'm not. You know, I have no shame in admitting that it's been a hard market, but. Um, I went back and I, s I looked at how GameStop and the broad market moved together at this time. And you can see, you know, contrary to popular belief, oh, it's a negative beta. This says otherwise. All right. And so that makes me think, right, if we can expect this some movement for GameStop, then doesn't it make sense for the market to leg up too? All right. I feel like that's plausible, but then we'll dig in deeper, right? There's more to it than that. Oh, yeah, I was also saying Netflix. I said yesterday Netflix was going to tank the market, and then Netflix did this. Um, but here we go. So this is the spy projection now. Pretty cut and dry. And you'll notice it's like the same thing as GameStop pretty much. But my thesis moving forward is, you know, if this is correct, I don't, I, I really don't know. I really don't know, man. I try, I, you know, it's a 50-50. But assuming they do track together, um, for one, this would hurt. This would hurt. I feel like people are super bearish right now. And, you know, people are going to get really short coming into here thinking that, oh, this is the crash. It's over. Everyone sell. I mean, like, we'll see. I don't know. There is an there is an argument to be made that it is going to happen like that because if I go to spy here, um, you'll have to, you'll notice that we have a seven swing down, and this is a seven swings is what you look for in WXY, right? ABC into W, ABC into X, but your X is like think, think of the X is one swing, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and this is like an Elliott wave property, just in general. You like to buy the low of the five, seven, and eleven swings. Um, and this would be the seven right here. So, and also, you know, we broke above this, um, or the ABC, right? We broke above this low, this A low at 436. So that, you know, it's possible. It's not confirmed by any means, but this is very, very possible moving forward. Um, and again, the way this count is set up is right. You have your one, two, three, four, but this is the diagonal because it's a wave one. So you're allowed to have this where the four comes in the territory of the one. And your four is going to be your long sideways correction where you'll typically see the more complex ones take place and you know this checks all the boxes so i don't know i don't know there's a compelling argument to be made but obviously if it doesn't do that then the market does this and everything goes to shit cool okay but oh yeah, yeah yeah yeah, that's what i was saying but anyways this whole you'll notice right what's really really cool about that whole little analysis i just put together is let me find it i think i put it lower down you'll see that it's like the same thing. Like it's the same larger degree trajectory if this is correct, right? And so what you're gonna be looking at here is the SPY degree in green is the same thing as the GME degree in yellow. And so SPY at, I, let's see, what is that level? SPY at four, let's just say like 460, uh, above 462, it'll probably be like 465 to 468-ish. So I have an upside gap marked on this chart. 464, okay, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Let's just say 465 SPY is equivalent to GME 217. Or 213, sorry. And if we see that, then I would expect everything to go to shit. At that point, I'm shorting fucking anything and everything in sight, buying as much of the VIX as I can. That's just foreshadowing. So I think you guys get the premise now. I, I really don't know. I, the conclusion is like, I don't know anything. No one knows anything. The only thing promised in life is death and taxes. But hopefully you got something useful out of this. I try not to ramble what I'm sure I'm going to be editing through this as I like take more bulls and I'm going to be like, bro, what the fuck did I even talk about? Um, well, cool. Thanks for stopping by. Hopefully you got something useful out of this. Yada, yada, yada. I will see you guys later. Peace.